I have been using these short range and long range transceiver modules in different Arduino and IoT related projects. Today we will be using together this short range HC05 Bluetooth module with these long range NRF24 L01 wireless transceiver modules. These modules give you 100 meters communication range and if you need even more range then you can switch to these PA plus LNA versions of the NRF 24L01 transceiver modules which has the maximum communication range up to 1000 meters. You can either use a pair of the long range NRF 24L01 PA plus LNA transceiver modules or you can use a pair of the short range NRF 24L01 transceiver modules. You can also make a pair by using the NRF 24L01 PA plus LNA with a regular small size NRF 24L01 transceiver module. For more details you can watch my video on the long range wireless industrial temperature monitoring system. Recently I got an email from Stephen who is into the film industry. I'm going to share with you his email. I'm planning on making an app that can monitor the voltage on film sets. We have a dozen or so batteries doing various jobs and I'm curious if one assistant can monitor them all from an app. I'm hoping that they can also be used to discover problematic batteries using the clock monitoring tool. We had a lot of discussion to find a proper solution. I also suggested him to use an IoT based battery voltage monitoring system which I have already designed. I will provide a link in the description. But he rejected this idea because mostly they do film shooting in areas where they have no access to the internet. Then I offered him the easiest solution which is to use a Bluetooth module with the Arduino and monitor the battery voltage on your cell phone application. I have already designed this project and it's available on my channel and website. This project is good if the battery is in the working range of the Bluetooth module. But we had to reject this idea due to the Bluetooth module short communication range. Finally, I suggested him to bring in the NRF 24L01 transceiver modules to increase the communication range and this way we can also use multiple transmitters to communicate with the single receiver. And this way we can monitor multiple batteries installed at different locations. As usual to keep things simpler, I will start with a single transmitter and receiver so that you guys can easily understand. So before I'm going to explain the working, making and programming, first a few words about the sponsor of this video for sending me these high quality PCBs. This video is sponsored by AllPCB. Feel free to visit their website allpcb.com to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files and this order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly. Besides this, you will also get a $30 coupon balance which you can use to get your first prototype order for free. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a long range wireless battery voltage monitoring system using Arduino Nano 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor, HC05 Bluetooth module, for the demonstration purposes, I will measure the voltage of these 12 volt and 5 volt adopters. I started off by measuring the voltage using a digital multimeter to make sure if I can read the same voltage on my cell phone app designed in Android Studio. Next, I connected the 12 volt power supply with the 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor. Next, I powered up the receiver side circuit using a 5 volt regulated power supply as you can see, currently the Bluetooth module is not connected with the cell phone and this is why the LED is blinking at a faster rate. I have already paired this module with the cell phone and it's ready to be used with the Android cell phone application. Open the Android cell phone application. Click on the search for paired devices. In the list, select your Bluetooth module and finally click on the connect button. 
When the ape is connected with the Bluetooth, the LED start blinking at a slower rate. Anyhow, you can see I can monitor the battery voltage on my cell phone. The value is approximately the same. You can adjust this value by changing the correction factor value, which I will explain in the programming. There is no physical connection between the receiver side and the transmitter side. If the transmitter is turned off or you are not in the range, the connection last message will be printed. At this point, you can go and check your transmitter module if it's working properly and you can also check the range. Anyhow, when you turn on the transmitter and the other transceiver module is in the range, you will again start receiving the data. The receiver side is completely portable and wirelessly communicates with the Android cell phone application through the Bluetooth module. So how exactly this works? The Arduino reads the voltage sensor which is connected with a battery and the Arduino then sends this data with the help of NRF24L01 to the receiver NRF24L01 module and then the Arduino takes the data and then the Arduino through Bluetooth module sends this data wirelessly to the Android cell phone application. I kept performing the experiments. With this project you can monitor voltages between 0 and 25 volts. This time I am going to measure the voltage of a 5 volt adopter. This is not exactly 5 volts adopter. The output of this adopter fluctuates between 5.1 and 5.3 volts. Perfect, I am getting the same exact value. Now to test the range, I kept the receiver away from the transmitter circuit and I am still receiving the data without any problem. Now again, I am going to connect the 12 volt adopter. This time you can see the 12 volts. I kept performing the test to the receiver circuit. I placed it a different location away from the transmitter and then I was away from the receiver circuit and still I was able to monitor the voltage without any problem. I'm sure you have got the idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the transmitter side circuit diagram. The VCC and ground pins of the NRF24L01 module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt and ground pins. A decoupling capacitor of 10 microfarad is also connected between the VCC and ground pins. CE pin is connected with pin 9, CSN is connected with the pin 10, SCK is connected with pin 13, MOSI pin is connected with pin 11 and the MISO pin of the NRF24L01 transceiver module is connected with the Arduino's pin 12. The S pin of the 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0. The plus pin is not connected, while the minus pin is connected with the Arduino's ground. The VCC and ground contacts of the voltage sensor are connected with the voltage source you want to monitor. Make sure the voltage you are monitoring does not exceed 25 volts. This is the receiver side circuit diagram. The NRF24L01 transceiver module connection with the Arduino remains exactly the same. The plus 5V and ground pins of the Bluetooth module are connected with the Arduino's 5V and ground pins. The TX pin is connected with the Arduino's RX pin, while the RX pin of the Bluetooth module is connected with the TX pin of the Arduino. I designed a development board for the NRF24L01, which I can use with both the transmitter and receiver sides. I added these extra holes on the left and right sides for soldering other electronic components. I also added female headers for the 5V, ground, 
analog and other I.O. pins. This way I can easily interface other input and output devices. I double checked all the connections and once satisfied, I generated the Gerber files and placed in online order on the all PCB official website. These are the PCBs I received from the all PCB company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the black color solder mask looks amazing. Next, I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. Both the circuits are exactly the same. At this point you have to decide which one you want to use as the transmitter and which one you want to use as the receiver. I added these female headers for the Bluetooth module and soldered some wires as per the circuit diagram already explained. Next I added the Bluetooth module and with this our receiver circuit is completed. Next we are going to connect the voltage sensor with the transmitter circuit. For this I would need to solder female headers for the 5 volt and ground connections so that I can easily interface the voltage sensor. The female headers are soldered and now I can easily connect the voltage sensor. Connect the S pen of the voltage sensor with the A0 pen and connect the minus pen with the ground of the Arduino. Now you can connect the VCC and ground contacts with the voltage source you want to monitor. I'm going to connect this female DC power check with the VCC and ground contacts of the voltage sensor. This way I can easily connect the voltage adapter for the testing purposes. Our transmitter side is also ready. Make sure the voltage you want to monitor does not exceed 25 volts. So finally the transmitter and receiver circuits are ready for the programming. This long range wireless battery voltage monitoring system is based on two programs. One program is written for the transmitter side while the other program is written for the receiver side. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. First, let's start with the transmitter side programming. This is just a basic program that reads the voltage sensor and then send the voltage value to the receiver circuit. Maximum of the code I have already explained in my getting started tutorials on the voltage sensor and the NRF24L01 transceiver modules. For now, the only thing that you need to focus on is the correction factor value. You can adjust this value if the measured value is a bit off from the voltage source value. Let's say if the battery voltage is 12.3 and on the Arduino you are reading 12.4 then you can simply replace this value with 0.1. Now let's take a look at the receiver side programming. This is the same exact code from my previous project based on the sensor monitoring using NRF24L01 transceiver module. The purpose of this code is to receive the data from the transmitter and then send it to the Android cell phone app using Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module is connected with the Arduino's default serial board. So that's why I'm using the same serial.println functions. Remove the Bluetooth module while uploading the code, otherwise you will get an error. 
I have a very detailed tutorial on how to design your own Android cell phone application. The APK file can be downloaded from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.